It's time for Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. A Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. Brought to you by Joe Bunghammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Plan your next vehicle purchase or get your credit rolling in the right direction with Regina today. And now, Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore. Good morning, good morning. You listen to Be in the Driver's Seat, and I am Regina, Regina Eileen Water, aka the Queen of Car Loans. Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. T. Happy Saturday. Hey, happy Saturday, yeah, all this Gil Garrett, Mr. Trust the Process. I'm in the studio right now. Hey, check out them behind the scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the Be in the Driver's Seat page because what they did to me this morning, I want to make it public, I want to make it visual, and I refuse. Oh, here we go, Dr. I refuse. T. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, for the go. problems that they're giving me not to be seen anymore. So get to them behind the scenes. Y'all been showing out. Y'all been helping me out. Y'all been tagging them. I need y'all to get in their inboxes and influence them to treat their little brother with a little bit of respect around here. Now that the okay, public well, service announcement right, is Right, right, right. That long public service <laughs> announcement. But let Listen. me just tell you this. You know what? We don't have time for you today. We're on a tight <laughs> schedule. You know, we got our word of the day. And then... We have... We got Portia Jackson in the building. I'm so excited. So she is the owner of Sister Rose. So y'all stay tuned. And then after that, we have Dolores Jackson. She is the eldest sister to, yes, I'm going to say this, Michael Jordan, the best player in the NBA now, in the back, back in the day, and And present, yes. (laughs) Y'all still rocking Jordans. Come on. Y'all still got that 23. Hey, 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 (laughs) listen, he can still give you 15, 10, and 10. Okay. I know he can give you 15, 10, and 10. Michael Jordan still got it. Yeah, he he ain't going to lose it. He ain't going to lose it. Yeah. So she's going to be on. She's going to share her story. She has about five books out. She's going to talk about her current book. And she's in the D this weekend. So we're going to get a chance to talk to her this morning, but we're going to go ahead and get started with our word of the day. Dr. T, you came up with the word of the day, so... The Take word the of the floor. day is now. So <laughs> when Regina said, what we going to talk about the word of the day, something that's in the now, I was like, bam, now should be it. So when I think about the word now, I mean, right now, what are you doing now? What are you doing today? What are you doing? What do you have in your hand that you can take and do something with? So when I think about now as a therapist, how can you get help now? What kind of goal can you do today? What kind of goal can you can I help you implement today to move you from one place to the other? And as as a believer, what can I do today to represent Christ? What are you doing in your now? So when I think about now, I think about, I always got a reference back to cars. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, you know, they put off what they can do today. They put it off the next week or, or next month or 90 days from now. Mm-hmm. And when I think about now, a lot of people don't think about getting that car until their vehicle is breaking down. Mm-hmm. And the one thing about a car, a car is going to let you know when something is happening. But are you ignoring it? But you need to take care of that, that car situation or that maintenance issue right now. Come on, now. And then when I think about it in my life, things that I do that I put off to next week, next month, right? I'm thinking about right now. Regina, why are you putting off something that you can do today? Mm. You know, I, I procrastinate sometimes because I have so much going on in my life. And then I have to pri- prioritize. What am I going to do now? Mm-hmm. Gil, what you got? Man, when I think about now, I think of now as the great equalizer to stag- being stagnant. Mm. When we get to a point where we just standing still and we just um, we, we, we're moving back and we're moving back and forth mentally. Right. But physically, we standing still because we're scared to make choices. We are afraid of the consequences that's going on. And then when I hear the word now, when I have somebody who comes in or interject that word now, that gets me motivated and pulls me into a position where I'm like, I don't have to be stagnant because you know what? My trust in God, what he has for me is for me. And that's the one thing that I principle that I take with me is that when I can move now and I can move forward and I can move ahead is that whatever whatever mistakes that's going to come with it, whatever backlash is going to come with it, I know that God is presently and in control and what's for me is for me. So now is your moment. So stop waiting. Yeah, let's do it now. So we'll be right back as soon as we take this break. And we'll be coming back 
it. With Portia Jackson, Soul Rose owner. Y'all get ready. Well, just Sister say, you Rose. Know she, she, she didn't listen. bring us no. She didn't Look, bring us no egg roll. So it's Sister Rose, right? And so I've been messing up saying Soul Rose, but it's Sister Rose. And she ain't bring us none. So that's why I'm hungry in here, too. How's she going to make up for it? Listen. We're going to ask her. Yeah, we're going to ask her on the We're going to ask her on the radio. Y'all listen. Man, that food truck is about as long as a semi truck. Y'all seen it? Yeah. I'm going to post that on behind the scenes, too. Yeah. And then she got one of the hottest artists in the city, Sada Baby, that's always showing up wherever she pull up at. Listen. Right? So she got the whole team east side just ready to wherever she's going to pull up at. Okay. And she, and listen, have you ever seen a food truck in a movie consistently getting cast? Cast. So Not we'll just be, there, cast. We'll be right back with Portia Jackson, Soul Rose owner. She can, she can, y'all, it's Sister Rose, but I keep giving it Soul. But Sister Rose. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hi, Joe Lunghammer here from Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet with Regina, the queen of car loans and the queen of community. Isn't that right, Regina? That's right. When you buy a car from me, you get on the road in style and you'll be enrolled in the Joe and the Queen's Community Program where we help you work your way towards better credit. Joe knows it's good to help our community here in Waterford and Metro Detroit. To find me, Google Regina, the queen of car loans. Chevrolet, find new roads. Looking to buy or sell your home? Whether you're relocating to Michigan from another state or another country, moving across town, upgrading, or downsizing, Brenda D. Davis from Century 21 Town & Country Real Estate is your locally known home purchase expert. Buying or selling your home is a complex process. Let Brenda simplify it every step of the way. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. Call 248-909-9711 and get moving on your new home purchase or sale today. That's 248-909-9711. 9711 call now. And you're back, and you're still listening to Be in the Driver's Seat, and we have Portia Jackson in the building. Listen, y'all, I have watched her and followed her story for years, and her story touched my heart, and I just wanted to have her on. She makes some amazing egg rolls, and she is the owner of, I'm going to get this right, y'all, Sister Rolls. I got it, right? She's the owner of Sister Rolls. Listen, if you have never had one of her egg rolls, you need to pull up on her. She is the founder of Sister Rolls, and she offers egg rolls the size of corn dogs, stuff with unique cuisine. Y'all hear that? Unique cuisine. And she couples it with superb customer service to anyone that's on the go so that she can set the example of in the community what success looks like, right? And she obtains everyone, um, she obtains everyone's uh, taste buds to be uh, lightened by what she serves. So I'm excited to have her in the building. Good morning, Portia. Good morning. So Portia, listen, I've been following you, but those that are listening have not. So kind of tell us who who is Portia Jackson and how did she get started? Okay, um, so I am Portia Jackson. I am the founder of Sister Rose Cuisine. Um, so it's just a little short story how I got started. Um, just previously being an entrepreneur, I, I started off with um, doing jello shots and then um, I went to jury for my daughters. And then I used to do festivals and stuff like that, like pop up shops. And I seen where that's where food was. So doing cooking was never like a dream for me. But when it came to, to seeing what money, you know, where the money was, I'm like, oh, it resides in some good food. So I didn't just want to jump into um, anything. I wanted to go to a place where no one was really in. Um, they had Asians corned beef. So I'm like, hey, they don't have anything um, in there. In there, and nobody's doing air girls like that. So hey, let me just jump in that lane. So um, December 2019, uh, right before the pandemic, I started off at a pop up shop um, with two food lamps and brought out like 75 air girls at the time and rocked it in 45 minutes. Wow! So, wait, so wait, <laughs> she rocked you were you rocked in 45 minutes. minutes? 45 minutes. I was sold out. In 45 minutes, and it was the talk of the town, like, and it started from there. Um, it went from there, got to summertime, because that was the winter time at the time. Mm-hmm. Went to, like, spring, summertime came. We got a, a tent. I started getting, like, the uh, propane, propane fryer so I can fry them right on spot instead of having them fried already for you. When I, so I need to keep some money in. So if I didn't, you know, sell them if the, by them being already froze, I would have had to, like, I always donate it to homeless instead of just throwing them out. Um, so I went from there in a uh, tent and then I saved up enough money to get a food truck. 
So, Portia, I, I need to take take the uh, listeners back. This hasn't always been the story. We know that Sister Rose is successful now, and you have some amazing air grows. But kind of talk to us about the struggles that you've endured. Because I've watched you, and you touched my heart just, and you're very public. You let the world know what's going on. So kind of give us some background of what this process has looked like. It definitely haven't been easy, and as being an entrepreneur, everyone to know that you don't want it to be easy. That's like my motto: if it's not hard, you ain't working hard enough. So, um, t- just taking it back. Uh, so, two years. I was two years in, um, uh, literally going through trial and error, and then uh, we know winter time comes. So, last winter, when me last June. Yeah, like a year ago from now, um, we were trying to, me and my family, I have four children, and we were trying to go to Miami, Florida, because it's hot down there, and it's wintertime here. So um, we like, hey, I believe in God, and God, you got to walk with one accord with God, even though he'll, you know, feel like you're on the right trail sometime, and you, he'll throw different signs at you, and then you'll be stuck in a place like, is that a go, or is that a stay? So mm-hmm. I, at the time, I had to move out of our home, so it I went with the side that, like, you know, as humans, you like, oh, that's the thing to do because it's a sudden decision. But it wasn't God's decision. So um, we end up getting scammed um, out of $10,000 trying to move to Miami, Florida by a fake realtor. Long story behind that, but uh, I ignored all the red all the red flags and was trying to go. So staying in a hotel for three months, uh, which was from all from August to oh, some September to no August and November we were home. Well, wait a minute. Let me let me just interject. So you were doing well and you were planning to move your family to Miami. You took ten thousand dollars and gave it to a realtor because you thought it was a, a, a appropriate a realtor that it was legitimate yes. and you were scammed and you and your family lived in a hotel for three months. Yes. So tell me, did you continue to do soul rolls in those three months? Yeah. So um, it was so crazy. So right when we was about to move out of our home, I fell and broke my leg and I have a rod inside of my ankle. So um, I'll do all the cooking. So it took for my, my husband, I had to show him. And then I have two teenagers and two little ones. They know how to run a business as well. So I had to show them how to, uh, you know, cook the food and I'll assist as I can. So I'm trying to get that same flavor without messing up. So, um, so wait, 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 wait. It's a family thing, right? It is. You know, everybody cooks. Yes. Husband cooks. Yes. Your daughter cooks, yes. right? Yes. Who was that, who, who that with you this morning? At, at She's been here. It's my friend. She's okay. been here for five years since we really started. What's for her five name? years. Her name is April. So, so shout out to April. April congr- yes. And listen, mm-hmm. I've been saying soul rolls. Y'all know, y'all know this is sister rolls, right? Yes. And so she has one of her sister, her friends with her. So that brings sister rolls into a light, a limelight. Yes for us right. that she's standing beside you yes so what about this the is husband? I so wait wait so we we We've been talking so much about you, 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 right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, you, 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 you obviously have a good husband, Listen. right? So let's talk a little bit about your husband, Listen. your other half. Listen, oh my God, my husband is amazing. Like, I, like top tier. I be every day. I ask God, like, how did you send someone so amazing to me? Like, to just to help me along my journey and just um, coming from a lifestyle of how his he grew up. You know, when two marriages, when two people come together and you bringing those backsides, you know, trying to m- merge them together, you go you got a lot of hiccups. So he wasn't like into like this food stuff. So to see him got a transition to going to food. He been there every type of every way. He like your brain is amazing, babe. We're gonna do whatever you want to do, and here you go. He's he's here doing everything. So when I when I when I looked and I met y'all, just then this is the first time actually me physically um, meeting you and your team. And um, shout out to the husband because when I say just watching the man take care of his family from the time they got out of the car to representing what they're doing. When you go into the uh, Instagram pages, you see them, they're cooking, you see them there. So it's not about a submissive woman. It's not about women always have to be in the backfield. Like that's not, I've been meeting husbands lately Mm -hmm. whom said that, Hey, listen, my, my wife got the vision. Yeah. And so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm about to back that 110 percent. So um, I can concur with what she's saying because you can physically see it. You can you can physically see the vibe yeah. um, that's going on between the two. But I, I, I just I got to ask this. So how did you how did you get into movie cast? Oh, I thought that was a question. Oh, you're just talking. No, oh, I'm no, sorry. No. Oh, okay. Here. My bad. Oh, oh. 
I the behind the scenes. Right I told y'all. I told y'all. But listen, I just, I, how did you get into movie casting? Like, how did that happen? So, um, just like, well, I really, I just, we just be out there rolling, doing us. Like, everybody love our personality and it just, people ask us, opportunities come out of this world. You never know who's watching and, mm -hmm. um, like, I used to think that you had to have so many followers and try to get on that trend of people want to just have these followers. I know social media is like a, a big thing, but I, I never get caught up on followers and stuff like that because I'm like a – me and my husband like best friends. Like we shoot – like we be going back and forth like amazing business partner. So just being like that, people come up to us and they love what they see. It's like – and it's – y'all behind Rose, like if I could take it back for a second, Sister Rose is just not just Egg Rose. Sister Rose is it's spelled R O L E S because anyone could be a play. I'm a sister that play role to be successful. So if we all do things together, and is that your mission? As a team, yes. So that's what's your mission? Talk, talk, let's talk to us about the mission. So the mission. So um, if we, if you see my my logo, it's three characters. It can go beyond just them three, but at the time, it's three. It's a waitress. It's a um cook and it's a boss, which is me, the boss lady that comes up behind, <laughs> behind you know everything. So. It goes beyond that. And it, I know it sounds so crazy because my husband, like, but dang, where did the man come in? And he just, and that's him, like, just push your dream. And that just was something that I always wanted to push. If we can't do, you can't do nothing alone. That's you know, good. you my have man to. man is the island. Yeah, right. you, you yeah. got to have a team, a strong enough team to be able to get you to the next level. So that's what, if everybody play their role instead of just trying to look, um, overlap each other and try mm -hmm. to, you know, look down on one another. If everybody doesn't really play their role and we all can be successful. That's so, good. So I got, I got a question. What? So is there any down times? Because just listening to Dr. T and listening to yourself, you are located where? Your brick and border is I in. Have, we do have a brick and mortar coming. Um, it's in Allen Park on okay. the side of the hill. It's one of the busiest spots um, right next to Five Guys, Starbucks, just to name a couple of the um, big we like the little dogs that's in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's all them amazing big franchises. And, and we started with the food truck. So a lot of people know us, and they are they follow us. We get people. We Right now, we're set with the food trailer. is in Farmington on Orchard Lake and 13 Mile. Um, we do move a lot, but we have a goal, um, what we're trying to do, you know, try to, like, let the ones that don't know about us to know who we is. And we're literally, just in three days, then fed seven different races. Seven wow. Wow. different race, like that's, that's huge. And yeah. just so is there any downtime in in your business? Is there like I know I'm in the car business, so <laughs> it it is some downtimes, right? And so I'm always thinking, what could I be doing? You know, I have things to do in my downtime. What do you do in your downtime? On my downtime, see, in food, you really don't have so. Um, it's different. It works different with everybody. It depends on what food you have and stuff like that. So I'm always on a go. Everybody always looking for me. It feel like I don't have a downtime. So I'm <laughs> trying good. to. I'm, so I'm trying to tell them like I had to make me a downtime because I gotta have everything structured. It's like God ain't letting me just like go at my full force. I didn't had like from my trailer again. I got my trailer over. Um, in China, shipped over here on sea, had a lot of, man, ran into a lot of issues with that, with not being certified in the U.S. So I saved so many people from buying trailers just because it's cheap. You saved some souls on yes. the, along the way? Yes, yes, yeah. saved them from, <laughs> so they was able to get their trailers made over here, you know, doing that pros and cons, like don't do it. The material, not good over there for certain things, even though we get a lot of stuff from, you know, hair and all of that from over there in China, but like food trucks and stuff like that, save yourself, do not do it. It's a horrible mess. I, so I've learned through that process. So I'm just getting getting ready to get my food truck certified. So everyone's like, well, how's you everywhere? And you ain't certified. God did it. God did it. <laughs> and so I just went on the praise God, station. God, God did, did it. it. <laughs> so I, I, I want everybody who's listening to know this. Like Portia says that she doesn't have any downtime because her roles are always in demand. But I've watched her take classes. I've watched her and her husband go through classes and get certified into to so that the, her business could be pushed and catapulted into another area. Yes. And so even though I know you're saying there's not a lot of downtime, I've watched you hustle through this even while you were rolling Rose, you were still taking classes. Yes. So tell um, the listeners out here, what is your driving force? Like, what is the one thing that you want them to know about Sister Rose? Sister Rose, um, it's not a just, it's, if everybody just listened to the message on it, like, play your role, you know, just do get in your role, live, let God, let God just um, 
work with you in your role mm -hmm. and get with like-minded people mm -hmm. and then the food gonna feed the soul that's so that's gonna keep us all happy so what, like being able just to <laughs> eat some arrows on the go you know flavorful and just be around great people so um getting your it's not just about the roles it's the other part of roles it's two roles we doing here that's good that's awesome good. so hearing hearing your story um I hear a lot of passion. I hear a lot of mm -hmm. vision. I hear a lot of confirmation. Um, I hear a lot of struggle. I hear a lot of decision making. I hear a lot of covering. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? When did you start seeing it? And when did you start believing it? So um, I'm from from the east side of Detroit where I, where I grew up at. Um, but I recently moved out to the suburb area um, to better my kids' lives. Um, uh, but where I see it going, I've I've made uh, partners. Oh my God, uh, I'm trying to see how to say it. Like so, in the when I when we got uh, went homeless, right, and then we got a house. Like soon we made a decision. Like we're just going to stay here mm -hmm. and just make sure I, God don't want us to move. We got to stay here because we got blocked. So whatever it is, we need to go on this trail. So right, so right in between that, um, someone came and swooped us up. Like. Uh, some Chaldeans and they like we seen you sh go through you y'all push through when at the hardest time we love your drive you know so to they're seeing my vision with me like it's like amazing so we're talking about franchising um working on getting a warehouse so we can put air grows on different people menus and so you had strangers yes you know, approach you well God sent her God, God sent, sent her God sent me some y'all literally stepping that hand in hand um, one of my partners do own a grocery store and been in the restaurant business for over 15 years. So having somebody and I pray that I'm like, God, what do I need? I need I need somebody to walk me hand in hand. So I don't got to keep, you know, making mistakes. But I, I made I figured it out. I didn't even know I, I knew so much right now. So when my partner's like asking me questions and I'm really like being a woman, you know what I'm saying? Because I did go through the Bank of America Women Entrepreneur Program. So um, like being a woman, you know, men usually be in the entrepreneur, you know, that, you know, boast the part of it but women they were trying to push us to the side that's why they are like trying to bring more women up um to, to be in the big seats and um you just gotta own yourself so i got men partners mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm the only woman so i'm like oh i gotta be doing something right so like god came in and just did exactly what i asked like send Man. me the right people so God sent you just the, the ones you needed. So, Portia, tell every all the listeners how can they contact you and where are you gonna be at this weekend? I mean, today is Saturday. Where are you gonna be at today? I so I am in a. Uh, it is like a transition. I haven't really been out this summer a lot. If you see my Facebook page, if where you can follow us. Um, and what's your Facebook um, page? My, the Facebook page is S I is Sister Rose Cuisine. So S I S T A, not E R S I S T A Rose R O L E S Cuisine C U I S I N E. That's L L C at the end of it on Instagram and on Facebook. You don't have to put the L L C. Um, you can follow us on there, and I always post where we will be at because we haven't really been out due to the restaurants coming within the next couple of weeks. Right there on Allen Park, uh, right there in Allen Park, I will have it. Um, a opening coming soon yeah so we're so excited that you joined us today sister rose cuisine yes. i'm so excited we've been following you and we thank you so much for coming in you owe us some egg rolls i though. got y'all so we oh, need to know okay, when, when we gonna get it <laughs> yes, I need a day, i'm, I'm farming i'll be there this week thursday friday and saturday on 13 mile orchard lake at well y'all missed thursday station. and friday already so she's <laughs> gonna be there today no, no i won't be there i'm close today i gotta rock today is saturday so what time you gonna be there today Oh, yeah. Today is um, Saturday. I'll be there at 4 o'clock today, 4 p.m. to 12. 13 Mile and Orchard, Orchard Lake. Lake Road. All right. See y'all soon. We want to thank you for being on the show today. We appreciate you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We'll be right back with Delores Jordan, the icon. She is the elder sister to Michael Jordan. Yeah. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dave Wilkie, service manager at Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet. Since the 1950s, Joe Lunghammer and his family have been honored to service your vehicles. With 112 years of combined service experience, we can take care of any concern you might have. From warranty work to routine oil changes, we treat your vehicle like our own. Call now to schedule a next service appointment at Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get your vehicle serviced right every time. Call 248-683-7100. That's 248-683-7100. Chevrolet. Find new roads. 
Are you paying high interest rates on a car loan? Do you desire to purchase a home, but you're unable to get approved? Perhaps you're repeatedly getting denied for credit when applying for credit cards. Listen, better credit doesn't just happen. You've got to make it happen. I've helped hundreds of people better their credit and their overall financial situation by applying a simple set of instructions that anyone can follow. Call me today, 1-800-988-9184. That's Kathy White. Washington, your financial impact coach at 1-800-988-9184. Don't delay. Call today. We're back and you're still listening to Be In The Driver's Seat. And this morning, we're super excited because we have a special guest calling in. It is Dolores Jordan. Um, She is the eldest sister to Michael Jordan. And she's going to be talking to you about, well, she's going to be talking to us about her journey. She does have five books out there, but she's also doing a lot of things in Detroit. Actually, actually it starts, it started yesterday, but she's doing it this weekend. But Dolores E. Jordan, let me just say, she, her mother name is Dolores Jordan. So she did make it known that her middle initial is an E or M? E. It's E? It's okay, e, yeah. all right, all right, correct yeah. me, correct me, correct me, correct me. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> but she is the author of Family First, Winning the Parenting Game. She also has a book called, mm. no? No, no, that's my mother. <laughs> that's my mother. So I have two books, and the first one is called um, "Family um, In My Family Shadow. And the second one is called You're Stronger Than Your Situation, Please Don't Jump. Yeah. Well, you know, I like I the know fact that you corrected me. And so, yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. I think one of the most amazing things that I just heard about that, and then this is going to be an amazing interview, is the fact that high, um, high, at high regard of you repeating some of the same things that your mother has done, um, in a total of po- two powerful women, you got seven amazing books. Together. Together. Yeah, that's amazing. Together. Well, my mom is very, she does a lot more writing than me. Gotcha. Um, but I probably, I, I can't even tell you that I do more speaking, but I probably do more speaking than she does. But, you know, God can use us any way he wants, mm. anytime he wants. And so I, we're surrendered. I, I can definitely speak for myself. I'm surrendered. So however he chooses to use me, wherever he sends me, I always feel like I'm on Abraham's journey. I just go. Amen. Abraham is one of my favorite uh, persons in the Bible. So, Miss Jordan, I know that uh, Regina was still doing your bio, so we want the listeners to know exactly who you are. So, Regina, you want to go for it? No, you know, we need to let her do her own bio okay. and give it, because you know what? She is, I mean, you know, when I when I see the last name Jordan, I just get excited. I always, you know, I'm just super excited. And they tuned in for it. Right. And, They're expecting this. And, yeah. They're expecting and no, nobody's this. expecting this, right? So, ma'am, yes. so, Mrs. Jordan, if you can just tell us a little bit more about yourself, um, and, and, and what you're doing right now, and how do we get to this space today? Oh, wow. Well, we started out saying uh, a few minutes ago that, you know, well, I just talked about being on, you know, Abraham's journey, um, allowing God to use me, not always being surrendered and not always understanding that my pain had purpose. Mm-hmm. And so once I, I, I am... Not proud of it, but I'm very candid and transparent about the fact that I tried suicide three times. So in the third time, God restarted my heart. And so in doing so, I got up off of that experience angry, very mm-hmm. angry uh, with God for, you know, bringing me back, but also very um, committed to find out what he saw in me mm. That made him keep me alive. Well, Miss Jordan, I can I can I just intercept real quick? You know, you said you t- tried to take your life three times, so you were adamant that you didn't want to be here. So you know, oh, for no, God, I, go go ahead. Yeah, you know, just that God saved you. He saved you in that moment oh, three for times greater, for greater purpose. So for those that are listening today, you have purpose, and even in your pain, you still have purpose. So. Continue on, Ms. Jordan. Well, that is really what motivates me today, honestly. Um, the fact that he did save me and he He allowed me to learn, to live and learn that pain does not last always. <clears throat> he, he allowed me to learn that he doesn't make any junk. He is purposeful mm-hmm. in everything that he does. 
everybody that he creates, he created with their own unique purpose. And for me personally, I was in a family where, the, you know, this great athlete, but Michael's four years younger than me. So before he got in the NBA, I already had my issues. And so by the time he got in the NBA, my issues did not dissipate. They did not disappear. They did not go away. They actually, you know, if truth being, you know, told, they actually grew because there is the public spotlight. There is the expectations. You do get stereotypes based on who you're associated with. And one would assume that he had this glorious life that I had it too. And that was not necessarily my story. And so, you know, God, again, he knew all the players. He knew he created us all. He knew what he was going to do with all. And when I looked at it, you know, from my carnal mind, not knowing him as well as I do now, I didn't see a value in me. I didn't mm-hmm. see a value in my life. I didn't understand. It seemed like God was, you know, he didn't love me. It seemed like that I was just here and I didn't want to be here. And I didn't know how to dwell in a life that he had chosen for me. Mm-hmm. So, so it was a struggle for me. Yes, NBA was there. Yes, money was there. Yes, all the other things were there. But here's the thing. If you don't like yourself, money can't make you like yourself. Mm-hmm. Well, amen on that. <laughs> yeah. And so I had, you know, after my suicide attempt, I became more, okay, after the third one, and the third one is so unique. I talk about it in this last book. Um, I talk about it in the first book, but I definitely talk about it in the last book because it is totally um please don't jump so miss dolores jordan i gotta we gotta take a break real quick we'll be right back we gotta pay some bills we'll be right back regina the queen of carlons here with joe long hammer chevrolet if you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates we've got your back my lenders are making unheard of deals where others may have roadblocks regardless of your financial situation i can get you financed and driving today simply google regina the queen of carlons Ride in style with the Queen, Regina the Queen of Carlons, at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet in Waterford. Chevrolet, find new roads. Hi, I'm Regina the Queen of Carlons. I'm Dr. Teresa Moore. And I'm Gil Geary. Together, we're a team that to bring massive value to the community when it comes to cars, credit, and mental health. Finances and mental health are big topics these days, and our goal is to help you take both to the next level. Tune in weekly from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. for in-depth conversations, news you can use, and special guests every Saturday morning. On DetroitPraiseNetwork.com, 98.3, 99.9, or 105.9 HD2. You're still listening to Be in the Driver's Seat, and we have Dolores Jordan that was talking. So, Dolores, when we went on break, you were telling the listeners about your third attempt um, at suicide being um, unique. So, continue on. Oh, yes. Um, you know, I I tried it several times before, and so I honestly tell you that I thought I had um, done it enough to get it right the third time. And it's... It, in that e- that event there, that attempt there awakened me to God like it had never, like I'd never been awakened to Him before, and considering His power, because we, my husband and I had a, we purchased a home that had an automatic lock on it, which meant that anytime you went out the front door, it would automatically lock unless you put something in the door to keep it ajar and I kept asking him he's a contractor you know and I kept asking him to um to repair the door or change the lock and he never got around to it but it became a testimony to me later at to God's awesome power because a girl the day that I laid down to die and did everything had everything in order went down my checklist of all the things that I needed to do before I died um, I did everything, checked off my list, and then literally did took the steps to commit suicide. And a friend called out of the blue. Um, I answered the phone. This is during the time we had house phones. So mm. I answered the phone. She thought um, I faded out, and she just thought that I had gone back to sleep, that she had woke me up in the middle of an afternoon nap. And so, but she got her spirit got so vexed that she literally got on public transportation, came across town, got to my home. My car was there. She saw, you know, she rung the doorbell. I didn't answer. She, you know, 
tried the door, still didn't answer. Anyway, she went back to bus stop, got back to the bus stop, spirit was vexed again, turned around, came back, and that door that she tried earlier opened. Mm. Literally. That door that we had been locked out of, my husband and my kids have been locked out mm. of so many times, mm. it opened. That's that was wild. God. And that was God. Nobody but God. And she was able to get to me, and she got EMS, and EMS restarted my heart. So when I woke up in intensive care in the hospital, I woke up and found myself still among the living. Mm. I was pissed. I'm mm. like, God, is wrong with the family, God? Mm. And mm. so in my ignorance of not knowing God then, just knowing of him but not knowing him, and there is a difference, mm-hmm. I I said to him, well, if you won't let me die, you need to teach me how to live because I don't know how to live this life you've given me. Wow. So, And that, that was kind of like my challenge to God. Miss Miss Jordan, I want to ask you, like, what is your your number one thing that you want all the listeners who are listening right now to know? What is the one thing that you want to leave in their minds? Oh, I really want them to know that God hasn't given them a life that they cannot live. It feels like it sometimes. It He does allow us to be burdened with situations that we wouldn't choose for ourselves. Sometimes, sometimes we choose our you know make selections and decisions that bring burdens. And sometimes we are birthed into them, and sometimes they just happen. But God is so purposeful in all that he does that even if it seems like he made a mistake, honestly, I speak this from walking and talking a life that I didn't want to live but now love living. And that is because he taught me that I was not an accident. I wasn't an afterthought. He didn't make a mistake. He had a purpose for my life. So those are listening. We're so quick now. Suicide is uh, is growing in numbers among the black race, and and we don't we didn't necessarily think of it. And you don't necessarily think of suicide unless you're somebody who's contemplating suicide. But I'm, I'm talking to the people that may be contemplating suicide, or if it's even just a mere thought in your head, I will plead with you to not make a final decision about a temporary problem. Wow. Because so, suicide is so final. So what what stages in your life? How old were, what, were you in your 30s, your 20s, your 30s? Because you said you attempted suicide three times. Can you give us, like, oh, the God. ages um, that, that actually this 20, happened? I think I was 25, 24, 25 the first time, 25 the first time. And I was 41, I think. Um, God, I'm 64 now. I have to think about how old I am. I think I was 41 the last time I attempted. And um, in between that, I was probably about 30, maybe well, 27, I think. I struggled. Um, I struggled for years and struggling, and I did not look like I was struggling. Mm -hmm. I wore the nice suit, nice hair, stepped out every day. My brother was in the NBA during all of my suicide attempts, and it did not stop me from wanting to escape my life. And so easily people look over and they make assumptions and they covet not understanding prices that's being paid for the lifestyles that's being led. Mm. Mm. That's powerful <laughs> right there. Now that's powerful right there. Can you, can you talk a little bit more about, um, and, and let me first say, and I said this when we were off the air, but being transparent about um, the situations happened before your brother got into the NBA and so thank you for acknowledging that. Can you can you talk about what kind of led up to that? And were you still in, were you guys still in North, you grew up in North Carolina, correct? Yeah. Or I Southern. Grew up in, yeah, I grew up in North Carolina. Okay. Um, and, and my first two suicide attempts was in North Carolina. And then I remarried, um, second marriage, moved to Pennsylvania. That's how I ended up here. Okay. And then, and then, um, and but I have to tell you, Living in a nice home, had a nice husband, mm-hmm. you know, two beautiful kids, 
riding, riding on private jets, having more opportunities in my life than I ever had. Mm-hmm. And it still wasn't saving me. Mm-hmm. Money came by happiness. You, you know, Money I- came by happiness. And if you don't like yourself, like when I was looking in the mirror, I wasn't seeing all the other stuff. I was seeing me. Mm-hmm. And me was looking back at me. And I wasn't liking what I saw. And it didn't matter what everybody else saw. That's good. It was what I saw and what I felt. And um, I had to learn. I had to do the hard work. Yeah. And I and what that meant for me. And, and this is just being very, I'm very transparent about my life. Mm-hmm. I wrote my first book, which I don't promote my first book anymore. And the only reason I, and everybody's trying to get family first, I mean, um, get in my family shadow. And the reason why, because it's very transparent, and it was it's written in my some of my darkest days, and I was very honest about my pain, writing in pain. Mm. And so I don't promote the book now because it's not where I am. So if I promoted the book, people would want to keep taking me back and talk about and talk in the midst of that pain. And mm. I don't, you know, people ask me now, how, how can I smile about my life? And I can smile about my life because it's where I've been is not where I am. That's good. Oh, amen. That's amen. Good. That's good. You know, I, I'm a firm believer of, you know, your right, you know, your beginning does not dictate your end. So I'm thankful for your transparency. But something that you said really sparked my attention. You know, when you attempted suicide this final time, you were married and you had children. And so a lot of people don't understand that you can be married, have children, have money, and still be in some of your darkest places. So, Ms. Jordan, are you currently in therapy? Oh, I've been in therapy. I, I... I have my therapist on speed dial. Come on here. Know. Wait a minute. Can you say that? Can you say that one more time for me? Because you know, yes. I need all the listeners yes. to know. You need your therapist yes. on speed dial. Yes. I, yeah, I have. I have. I mean, I am very faith focused, without a shadow of a doubt. I, 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 I went to therapy, but I give all glory, all my glory to Christ because I know that He is what wakes me. He is who wakes me up every day and allow me to get up. So I don't diminish who he is and how awesome he is. I also know that he does have helpers here on earth. And my Mm. therapist is one of those people that help me understand. And and one question she asked me that was so life altering for me. And then one of the things she asked me was, why do you keep trying to fit into everyone else's life instead of learning how to live your life. That's good. Wow. That's good. That's <laughs> good. That, that, that was good. And, yeah, and the thing about that is my life is, you know, intertwined with everybody else's. But we're only, when I stand before God, he's going to only ask me to give an account for me. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. You can and, only ask for yourself. What did I do with the life that he gave me? And how did I use it and utilize it in the best way? capabilities of my abilities and so so with that in mind i had just like okay what makes me happy not what makes everybody else happy yeah what makes me happy and and even with my husband and my my children i felt they were better without me Mm. you know so they didn't having them didn't make me not want to commit suicide. Now, I'll be honest and tell you that suicide is a very selfish decision. And I say selfish because when we're in it, we're thinking about our pain. We're thinking about how to escape it. And we're Mm. not necessarily thinking about the people that we're going to leave behind in pain. And so I, I, now I'm intelligent enough and I'm healed enough and I'm, you know, smart enough to look back and say, oh, wow, you really were thinking about you, but I was in so much pain. You know, if you cut me, you're not going to feel my wound. I'm going to be the only one that feels mm-hmm. that wound. You might feel mm-hmm. bad for me, but I got to carry the scar of that wound. And so, uh, so I had to learn how to look at my life, mm-hmm. take ownership of my life, mm-hmm. and make peace with my life. Uh-huh. So we need and to. We, that, 
I'm sorry, go ahead. We, we need to ask you one more question before we actually, we got to cut our interview short, and hopefully we can have you back soon one day. Yeah. Oh, I just want to say that was hard work, but couldn't nobody do that work for me but me. That's good. Yes, ma'am. And my That's therapist good. helped me. That's good. So what, what's next for you? What's next on your horizon? I know that the weekend, well, actually today, you have this open enrollment and fundraiser that's happening today from 12 p.m. to 4.30. Yes. So I am doing, I have this um, line of um, apparel or products, and it's called Yasties. And Yasties stand for you are stronger than your situation. And that's, those, that's what God was speaking to me when I was saying, oh, Lord, you put, of all the families in the world, you couldn't think of another family to put me in. And, da, 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 da. and I literally was having that conversation with God. And he said, the Lord, you're not lost in me. I know exactly where I put you at, but I also know that you're stronger than the situation that you're facing. And so he was right. He ultimately was right. So he now has charged me with that same six words to speak them into other people's lives any way that I can. They don't have to tell me that they need to hear it, but I know that I'm not the only one out there that need to be reminded that I'm resilient enough to, to embrace and live my life. And so that's the message that I am taking everywhere I can take it in every direction. My book, Please Don't Jump, talks specifically about not giving up, believing in your ability to not only endure your life, but overcome your challenges and learn how to enjoy your life. Man, that is that is so powerful, and it, and it, and I think it's very inspirational to to youth and and to to especially when you go into urban areas and urban districts um, like Highland Park. So I appreciate you really sharing that story, um, and thank you um, for joining us um, and being transparent about your life. It has been a pleasure um, really speaking to you this morning. So before we let you go, I just want to talk about the three key the three key events that we you have going on. Actually, it starts today which is the 22nd. She's open enrollment and fundraiser, and that is located at 45 East. Is that Buena, Buena Vista Street, Highland Park, Michigan? Yeah. And that is open enrollment. Um, and on Sunday, you have Celebrating Women's Dreams. The theme is Homegrown Celebrating a Women's Dream. Topic is You Are Strong in Your Situation. And that is at 21455, 21455, Melrose Avenue, building our Suite 25, Southfield, Michigan. Um, you can get your tickets at Eventbrite Celebrating Women Dream Tickets. And then your other event that you have, what your other event that you have going on is, which is today, from one to four, um, enrolling now for fall classes, summer jazzery jam. All right, we want to thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I've truly enjoyed, you know, sharing with you guys, hoping that any everything I've said or anything that I've said can reach those that, you know, your listeners and hopefully um, be a word of encouragement to them. So thank you. Thank you. So glad you came. Happy Saturday. Happy, Happy Saturday. Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dave Wilkie, service manager at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. Since the 1950s, Joe Longhammer and his family have been honored to service your vehicles. With 112 years of combined service experience, we can take care of any concern you might have. From warranty work to routine oil changes, we treat your vehicle like our own. Call now to schedule a next service appointment at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get your vehicle serviced right every time. Call 248-683-7100. That's 248-683-7100. Chevrolet. Find new roads. Are you paying high interest rates on a car loan? Do you desire to purchase a home, but you're unable to get approved? Perhaps you're repeatedly getting denied for credit when applying for credit cards. Listen, better credit doesn't just happen. You've got to make it happen. I've helped hundreds of people better their credit and their overall financial situation by applying a simple set of instructions that anyone can follow. Call me today, 1-800-988-9184. That's Kathy White. Washington, your financial impact coach at 1-800-988-9184. Don't delay. Call today. We're back and you're still listening to Be in the Driver's Seat. But I know you wanted to thank Natasha Lee, that girl, yes. from, having, from having Dolores, 
Jordan as our guest. Yeah, so shout out to Natasha Lee of That Girl. Natasha Lee is a CEO. She's an influencer, a visionary, and she has That Girl. Listen, she also have apparel. So if you are interested in getting That Girl apparel, please look on thatgirl.com. I am thatgirl.com. I am thatgirl.com. Or contact Natasha Lee. She is on all social media um all social media handles as that girl. So, Natasha Lee, we want to say thank you so much for um, sending the Lord's Jordan our way. We appreciate you, and we look forward to having you in the studio soon. So, now this is our time for our business highlight. So, this is the time where we highlight local businesses. So, the first business that I'm highlighting today is Kim Butler. She is actually Pastor Kim Butler. She has a phenomenal voice, but I am highlighting her clear as crystals. She makes hands handmade jewelry everybody when I say handmade it's custom made she's also done my wedding um, when I did my renewal my vows she did my jewelry and it was absolutely beautiful and all the women that stood next to me so she has Kim clear as crystals at gmail.com you can contact her that way or www.kimclearascrystal.com or on Facebook she is clear as crystal LLC she's known as on TikTok as Kim Butler she can be re- uh, reached at 313-316-7098. She's located in Redford, Michigan. She's open Tuesday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also, men, if you're at the Suit Depot that's in Oak Park, she also has Clear as Crystal inside of the Suit Depot for you all. So she makes custom jewelry. You can reach her at 313-316-7098 or www.kimclearascrystal.com. You know, I love the fact that it's the collaboration and a lot of businesses are getting highlighted um, during our show. And we want to thank the businesses that we are highlighting, but also the reach back that you're doing because you guys are sharing it. You are tagging us. You are thanking us. So we do appreciate that. Um, the business that the business that I want to highlight is Big Star Events. They specialize in creating beautiful and unique wedding social engagements, and corporate events. They provide a multitude of luxurious decor packages that will surely make your occasion unforgettable. Your coordinate will collaborate with you to create a setting that is tailored to your vision. During the complimentary initial consult- consultation, you have an opportunity to look through their portfolio, learn more about their services, and ask questions. Once once we determine, which is them, once they determine what services are needed for you, a proposal will be created and customized especially for you. You can have, I think everybody's doing a lot of, when they're doing the um, the prom or the graduation, they're doing the throne chairs. Looks like she has a lot of collaborations that, that she's doing. If you want to book online, you can book online at BigStarEvents.com, BigStarEvents.com. Man, so the third um, business that we are highlighting is Mr. Mateen Thurkale. He's a licensed therapist. His telephone number is 248-818-4768. He graduated from Everest Institute. He has over 10 years of experience. Um, He is the owner of Get Fit and Relax. That's on Instagram as well, at Get Fit and Relax. He specializes in Swedish massage, deep tissue massage, hot stone massage, specialty massages as well. You can have them out for your events, for five-minute massages, chair massages, um, and just actually just having them um, a wealth of knowledge. He's a motivational speaker as well. And then he also talks about fit and why relaxations, given techniques, is very important. I know we've been talking a lot about mental health and techniques that we've been giving our listeners. Um, so Mateen Third Kale, again, licensed massage therapist, uh, telephone number 248-818-4768. It is very important that we start um, really placing self-care in our daily routines and our rituals, uh, no different than just when you place you're preparing for what you want to wear for the next day. Um, that five or ten minutes can take off a whole hour to two hours of stress um, with just proper techniques. And Mr. Mateen Thurkell can really teach you how to do that. 
The next business we're highlighting is Teresa Lewis. She is the owner of uh, Graphic Designers of Your Vision Design. Graphic Designer of Your Vision Design. She specializes in visual branding. She does all forms of print design, such as logo designs, flyers, business cards, invitations, posters, and more. She can also do social media ads, and she does different forms of web, web ads, such as static web banners and more. You can see samples of her work on Instagram at YV Designs with the S online, or you can call her at 248 396 2516, or she can be emailed at YV Design Online at gmail.com for a quote or more information. So, again, that's Teresa Lewis, graphic designer of Your Vision Designs, and you can call her at 248 396 2516. The next business I want to hi- highlight is Nicole Sykes. Hands-on learning, affordable private tutoring, unlock your child's academic potential with individually tailored sessions. No matter if you have your student needs to catch up or get ahead, she can create a plan to help reach your learning goals. All subjects, K through 12. It's improved one full grade in six weeks. Please contact Nicole Sykes for pricing and availability. You can give her a call at 248-660-9894. That's 248-660-9894. Or you can email Nicole Sykes at nikkig1734 at gmail.com. That's nikkig1734 at gmail.com. Mr. Romel Teague. Now, we spend more time in our vehicles a lot of time than any place. So I like to keep a clean car. I like it to be detailed because that kind of sets the atmosphere when I'm traveling and just kind of meditating before I get to work um, or uh, to my next business meeting. Now, he specializes in car washing details. He'll come to you. He's a traveling, um, actually got a traveling business. Um, You can reach him at 248-904-3957. Um, his email is romel36, R-O-M-E-L-L-E, 36 at gmail.com, Romel T. Car Wash Detailing and Waxing. It is very important of maintenance of your vehicle. We talked about that several times on the show. Um, it's not. It's just not just getting a vehicle. It's once you get in it. Um, is maintaining it because if you ever want to resell it, if you ever want to make sure you hold somewhat of the value to it, um, making sure that you have the proper detailing and have regular maintenance of that vehicle um, is priceless, um, no pun intended. <laughs> So the next business is Mavis Peters. She owns Mayneeks Bits and Pieces. She's an event planner. She does consulting and decorating services. Mavis is also known for her three-tier theme fruit displays. So if you're having an event, please reach out to Mavis Peters at 248-862-4610. You can reach her on Facebook as Mavis Peters. Again, that's 248-862-4610 if you would like to have an event planned. So the next business I want to highlight, she joins us every month. That's Sierra Warren. She's the owner of the baker of Delicious Sweet Bake Shop. She just reached a milestone on Sunday. She reached 8,000 followers. Congratulations. That is huge. Congratulations, C. So we want you to go to her Facebook page, Delicious Sweets Bake Shop, and follow her. But she specializes in custom cakes, ice cream, Dessert cakes, KK shakes, cake shakes, cake shakes. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. That's a mother over there. <laughs> Cookies and more. Man, so listen, Mr. Will Taplin, Mr. Will Taplin, Tap in Pizza. When I tell you it's one of the most amazing homemade pizzas you're gonna ever have <laughs> in your life that hit your taste buds. Now you gotta call this number early. Now when he, you gotta follow him on Instagram at Tap in Pizza. So when he knows when you when you know that he's making the pizzas, you gotta tap in. And it's tap in pizza, 248-310-7427. He has the pepperoni loaded pepperoni garlic butter cheese crust, the barbecue grilled chicken, bacon, and red onions. He even has a vegetarian option with spinach, peppers, onions, and jalapenos. He has turkey pepperoni, turkey pepperoni and peppers, onions, jalapeno, and spinach. Listen. Wait a minute, hold on. You ain't saying nothing about that oxtail one. Look, 
Listen, he, <laughs> listen. I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to do you the know, folks like Will that. Will got a. He real got one. <laughs> yeah, he he does. He has an oxtail okay. options. But when I'm telling you, getting into that tap in pizza, two four eight three one zero seven four two seven. We'll order mine as soon as we get out this call. Listen, at this time, I would like to recognize Regina, the Queen of Carlons. Her birthday is this Tuesday, yes, which is, is the 25th. So, Happy Regina, we salute you. Happy you. birthday. So, all Happy listeners, birthday. if you see her, That's go to her up. Facebook page. Tell her Happy birthday. We also want to highlight her. She has over 25 years in the business as being the Queen of Carlons. Over 25 years. <laughs> she is at Joe Longhammer, everybody. So, if you're in the business of needing a car, please look up the Queen. And again, Happy birthday, Queen. Happy birthday, Queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We also want to thank our guests for being on. Our guest was Portia. Yeah, we had Portia Jackson from Sister Rose in the building. Ooh, wee. Oh, man, and Mrs. Jordan. Wow. And of course, Dolores we want to Jordan. thank Miss Dolores Jordan yeah. for taking time on her busy schedule for being on. And also, we want to thank Natasha Lee again yeah. for that actually girl. doing that collaboration. That yes. girl. Thank you, that Who's girl. Who's that girl? Yes, I'm sorry. she does Ooh, some phenomenal things. Sing it, Mr. Process. Let's <laughs> trust the process. So this has been a great Saturday, everybody. Yes. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. Be amazing. Have a good week. And uh, don't forget that word of the day. Now. Do it right now. Right Do now. it right now. Right, right now. 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 Have a good week. You've been listening to Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. Brought to you by Joe Longhammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Be in the Driver's Seat, a Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. From Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore, thank you for listening.